So now that we've uh, touched on things we don't have, for instance, take an example for a person who is well-to-do in this life, has a good status, mm -hmm. a good family, good uh, things at his disposal. And uh, what, how can Islamic values uh, and the teachings change, um, and the, change the way that such a person approaches life? Like, uh, so if, uh, if I'm a well-to-do person, how should my values uh, uh, changes my life? Okay, once Islam enters the life. Right. Okay, so you have a well-off person and he or she accepts Islam. Mm -hmm. The first thing they find is peace. You have people that are extremely wealthy and they have mansions and mm -hmm. they have they, they live in very lofty apartments or condos or whatever else, but they can't sleep at night. They have to take drugs to go to sleep. They right. they they have nightmares. They mm -hmm. they they find uh, they feel this emptiness inside of them and they try to fill it with movies. Then they try to fill it with drugs. Mm -hmm. They try to fill it with alcohol, with clubbing, with multiple relationships. They try to fill it with you name it. Mm -hmm. And yet the emptiness remains. It just keeps haunting them. The first person, and when we say well off, I say they're not well off in one thing. They haven't right. found peace. They haven't found peace. They, they're not at peace with themselves. Mm -hmm. These are extremely sad people. And so the first thing Islam gives you is this peace. You're finally at peace. You found something that is now... It, y your pursuit of everything has withered away and you found a higher pursuit, a higher purpose, a higher calling. Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't mean, to be a good Muslim, it doesn't mean you sell your car and r ride a bicycle from now on or sell your apartment and live in a shack or whatever. Mm -hmm. Islam does not take away from the luxuries of life. You can have them in your hand. All Islam does is it takes them out of your heart. Gotcha. So you can have it in your hand, but not in your heart. But for a lot of people, even if they don't have it in their hand, where is it? In it's, it's in their heart. And that's why they're feeling this emptiness. Because no matter how much you get, there's always going to be more. There's mm -hmm. something you don't have. Mm -hmm. Like for a child, if we instill this into a child, you take them to the toy store, you buy them a toy, mm -hmm. but their eyes are not on what they just bought. Something Their else. eyes are on the two and a half million dollars of merchandise left behind. Yep. There's something more. Mm -hmm. You buy your teenager a video game. Mm -hmm. He's done in two days. His eyes are on the next one that's coming out. He doesn't even look back at the last one. That's there's true. this move. There's always more. There's always more. Islam comes and says, you can have the world in your hand, but Islam will take it out of your heart. Oh, your heart. So the world was created for us. We don't say that the world is an evil thing, mm -hmm. that it's, you know, it's a gift. The world is a gift. Mm -hmm. The luxuries of life are a gift. Mm -hmm. You should dress well. You should eat well. There's nothing wrong with any of that. Okay. But, if you start thinking that those very things are the reason for which I exist, it is the good clothes, the status, the house, the money, the car, these are the things I exist for, mm -hmm. then you've lost your purpose. Okay. So Islam comes and says, use these things and okay. use them so that you can find your real purpose. So use these on at your disposal, but there's different purpose in life. That's, exactly. That's what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. And this is more psychological? Once yeah, you find we call it spiritual. In modern terms, you can call it psychological. psychological. It's a change of attitude. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. The 877-Y-Islam hotline presently handles a volume of 8,000 calls per year. The 877-Y-Islam website also receives millions of hits. As a result, we are honored, alhamdulillah, to have on average one shahada per day. Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulu, Rasul, Allah. Allah. That means I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah.